Today we'll be discussing a fascinating possibility that lies right on the border between imagination and science, with nobody knowing for sure to which half of the court it belongs. We're exploring the quilted multiverse. Allow me to explain. The quilted multiverse is a theory that, using our current understanding of physics, shows that not only is a multiverse possible, but we might very well be living in the middle of one right now. In order to get to that point, let's review four basic physical properties of the universe, and see where that takes us. Number one, the universe is flat and infinite. When cosmologists describe the universe as flat, they don't mean that it's two-dimensional. They just mean that it never curves back in on itself. In other words, if you were to pick a direction and travel in a straight line, you would never end up back where you started from, and instead would continue to encounter new space forever into infinity. But that doesn't necessarily need to be true. A curved universe is possible. Here's one way to think about it. Imagine you are standing on an infinite flat surface extending in all directions. Now walk 40,000 kilometers in one direction. How far away are you from your starting point? Easy question, you're 40,000 kilometers away. Now pretend you're on the surface of the Earth. I know, I know, just pretend, okay? Pick a direction and walk 40,000 kilometers in a straight line. Where are you now? This time, you've actually ended up pretty close to where you started. That's because the game was rigged. Even though you thought you were walking in a straight line, you were actually moving across a curved surface, which messed up your direction. Now, in theory, something like this should be possible in space too. For a spaceship to zoom off in one direction, and because of a subtle curve, return back to its starting point. However, according to NASA, we now know, as of 2013, that the universe is flat, with only a four-tenths of a percent margin of error. This is thanks to some pretty cool research involving microwaves and balloons. <laughs> I can't believe they accepted my grant proposal! Number two, the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. Up until the late 1990s, cosmologists generally assumed that the universe was slowing down from its initial expansion during the Big Bang. It was thought that the explosion would slow over time before collapsing back in on itself thanks to gravity. Imagine the surprise then when measurements taken indicated that the universe was not slowing down. Instead, it seems to be accelerating. But how can the universe be expanding if the universe is already infinite? It's because it isn't the edges of the universe that are expanding, because the universe doesn't have an edge. Instead, it's the fabric of space itself that is expanding. For example, imagine if two runners running the same speed were racing on an infinite cobblestone racetrack that needed expanding. You wouldn't add more track to the end, because that doesn't make sense. The finish line is already infinitely far away. Instead, you would add more cobblestones between the existing ones. Technically, the racetrack hasn't gotten any longer because it was already infinite. And yet, the distance between the runners has increased, effectively expanding the track from their perspective. Now let that thought marinate as we move on to part three. Number three, light speed is the speed limit of the universe. Light speed, often written as the letter C, is understood to be the fastest that anything could possibly move through space. By itself, that's easy enough, but when we couple this with an expanding universe, something horrifying happens. It becomes possible for objects occupying the same universe to be unable to interact with each other. Here's a simplified example. Imagine a space station consisting of two parts, the four deck and the five deck. Let's say that the two parts separate and fly off in exactly opposite directions, accelerating until they reach 60% of light speed, or 0.6c. Now let's say that the five deck wants to send a message to the four deck. So they use the fastest form of communication, light, and shine a laser pattern of Morse code directly towards the foredeck. Assuming the ships never slow down, the message would never arrive. Why? Because motion of the laser can't overtake the head start of the foredeck, which relative to the five deck is moving beyond light speed. Even though neither piece is moving faster than light, the net motion is too great. Reality is more complicated than this example, especially because it's the expansion of space that drives things like galaxies away from each other rather than spaceship engines. But what's important to take away is that objects moving fast enough away from each other can never again interact with each other due to the speed limit of light. This brings us to something called the Hubble Volume. It's a sphere drawn at the points in space around the Earth where space is receding away from us beyond light speed. Anything that exists outside of the Earth's Hubble volume is impossible to interact with. The Hubble volume is huge, but because space is infinite, there are an infinite number of Hubble volumes contained within it. 
This is where the quilted name of the quilted multiverse comes from. Imagine all of these Hubble volumes in a quilted pattern extending forever into outer space. Finally, number four, energy permutations are not infinite within a given space. What this means is that there are only a certain number of ways to arrange things like protons and electrons within a given chunk of space. For example, if you had six boxes and three colored balls, there are 120 ways in which you could arrange these items. These 120 different ways of arranging are called permutations. But instead of using boxes and balls, we're using Hubble volumes and fundamental particles. The math gives us an absurdly large number of permutations, and the chances of any one of them occurring are very, very small. But each permutation is still possible. Taken together, these four facts paint an incredibly insane and wonderful picture. If there are an infinite number of Hubble volumes, then every single possible permutation of particles must exist. This means that somewhere in the universe, every single conceivable thing exists. There's a Hubble volume containing nothing but candy canes. There's a Hubble volume containing an exact replica of Earth, except everyone there is just scrambled eggs. There's a Hubble volume in which you win the lottery tomorrow, and there's a Hubble volume in which you die while watching this video. Every single thing that could exist must exist following these physical rules. And that is the quilted multiverse. Unfortunately, due to the speed limit of light, we'll never be able to interact with these universes. At least as long as the current model of physics holds up. It should be noted, however, that every single one of these given properties of the universe could turn out to be wrong. For example, if the universe isn't flat, or if wormholes turn out to be a thing. Regardless, there is a lot of science left to do in the universe, which means that whatever the future holds, it ought to be pretty exciting. That's it for this topic. Be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. And maybe share the video with someone who enjoys deep space. Which is, should be everyone. Space is awesome.